previous video we have seen how to create the self IP address so as per our lab requirement we have created two self IP address uh, as like for, we have a two different uh, VLANs right one internal VLAN and the other one is external VLAN and uh, we have created a two self IP address for each VLAN uh, so I have created a separate self IP address for external VLAN and uh, another self IP address for internal VLAN so as we discussed earlier self IP is a kind of a layer 3 interface IP okay so uh, th there is some security features FI allows us to uh, create uh, or provide it, it provides us some security features uh, when we create a self IP okay so if you see here I have uh, I'm accessing this FI device using my management IP right 192.168.0.100 however as, I, uh, as this is a layer 3 interface I can also access this box using this IP so let me show you Hutch TPS. See, so I am accessing this box using the self IP. I can. Uh, this is the external IP self IP I have created for this lab. I can also show you. It will be working. I can open using the other self IP which I created for the internal VLAN or internal network. 10.10.10.100. See, it's working. So I mean to say that we can access this box using the self IP address also. Okay. And uh, how the communication allows, if you see here, there is an option as like port lockdown. Okay. So by default, uh, um, yesterday when we are creating it, I have choose uh, allow default okay which means fi by default it allow few communications uh, communications over few ports. Okay. So if we choose allow default, uh, say for example these are the list of ports that FI allow by default okay so by default it allows IGMP OSPF PIM and um, 4353 for, 4353 for iQueries and HTTPS 443 and SNMP traffic SSH DNS RIP and 1026 for failover and if you see uh, by default it will allow for HTTPS so that's the reason when we are trying uh, with HTTPS along with IP we can access that box at the same time if we try with HTTP uh, when it is uh, allowed default we may not access the box because by default FI will allow only HTTPS traffic okay and that's like the same if you see uh, by default it will allow SSH communication and uh, if you try to do telnet it won't work because by default it allow only SSH okay I'll show you one minute so earlier here when we try to access right it was through H uh, HTTPS okay now let me show you I'll try to access the same with HTTP it will never work see because by default uh, FI will allow only HTTPS communication okay so we have chosen uh, allow default so in this option FI will allow only HTTPS communication so when we try to use HTTP it, it will never work will get an site unreachable error also by default uh, this is the earlier session I can fix this and I'll establish a new session with the self IP 172.16.0.100 okay if you see uh, using SSH uh, port 222 I can access the box Good. I can uh, SSH the box I can access it because under this option my port uh, the communication over the port uh, 22 uh, sorry 22 for SSH services allowed okay and also I'll do one thing I'll close the session I'll try to access the same with telnet let's see will it work it won't work but I want to show you 172.16.0.100 select your telnet which is 23 by default see it will not work because fi will not allow uh, telnet traffic by default okay so this is what allowed default is there is a set of uh, ports which we sh which i showed here so by default if uh, the option is allowed default these services or these traffics are allowed okay communication over these ports are allowed and the next option is hello all 
so when it is allow all it will allow all the traffic so th there is no restrictions at all it will allow all the traffic whatever comes in to that particular self ip okay and third one is allow none so let me show you allow none and the most important thing is whenever you are making any changes here you need to update only then it will reflect okay so earlier if you see uh, we uh, http it, it doesn't work because by default it is not allowed but earlier when we tried with https it worked right but now when i trying with https it will never work see i am initiating through https only because what i have mentioned here i allow none which means whatever the traffic is, whatever the request is, deny it. See, so that's the reason. Even when I am uh, initiating HTTPS traffic, it's not reaching. Okay, so this is uh, alone and and I can also show you. Earlier we tried to access through SSH, which is allowed by default. Now let me try to access it. It will never access because we selected alone none see no it's not working okay so this is what alone none is it, it will not allow anything and the other one is allow custom so here we can add the port whatever we want uh, it's as per the uh, user requirement okay say for example uh, okay now HTTPS is not uh, is not worked right because earlier we selected alone none. So now what I'm saying, I'm choosing TCP port four four three add update. So once I update there four four three. it starts working see see the same uh, communication was not successful earlier but now it's working because here we allowed the traffic for the communication over the port 443 okay so for example instead of 443 if i put all okay add, add. So if i uh, mention only 443 i may not able to access through ssh okay so now I put all so that now I can SSH also 172.16.0.100. See, now it's working because why I have I have I'm allowing all the TCP communication towards this self IP. Okay, so this is what allow custom is. So manually we can specify what are the tra uh, traffics allowed and what are the traffics not allowed when i say not allowed we no need to mention here we only need to mention only the allowed traffic the required traffic and the last option is allow custom included default which means in this option you'll be giving a set of ports uh, as per your requirement in addition to that the default set of port which fi allows for communication will also work okay so this is what allow custom include default is so it depends on your uh, infrastructure for my lab i'm keeping it as like allow default so it's one of these security features available for the uh, self ip functions thank you for watching the video for more updates please subscribe the channel and for queries and feedback please write to us thank you